What's happening, my wonderful people? It's the G5. The G5 are back right back on town. They are back in town and they said, you know what? <laughs> forget Ayo, forget Simo, because uh, that guy, eh, if you follow and you go into his eye, Pete. They said, forget Ayo's demands on Atiku. PDP campaign, PDP campaign tells G5. You see, they said Ayo, you know, Ayo has said that he's not leaving. He's going to be there until everything is done and dusted. He's going nowhere. He's going to be there. And so this is what is causing Atiku, the main issue right now. Atiku, they will say, is between the angels uh, and the deep blue seas. Either he fall to the angels, which are the G5, or he go to the deep blue sea, which other things are. You know, so the PDP issue has really caused a lot of stare. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Forget Ayo. Make demands on Atiku. PDP campaign tells G5, we need you back. There seemed to be no end in sight to the lingering crisis between the camp of the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate in the 2023 election, Halaji Atiku Abubakar, and five aggrieved governors elected on the platform of the party. Last week, Atiku expressed his readiness to engage the five governors who earlier in the week insist that reconciliation doors are fully opened. Saturday Punch, however, gathered that a trace between the parties was not in sight given the failure of the aggrieved governors to shift grounds on their demands of Ayo must go. The governors gave some wiki, Sheima Kinde, Weazu, Samuel, and Fai of Enugu State are demanding the resignation and removal of APC National Chairman Ayo as the condition to return to the party presidential campaign folds. Why in Lagos recently for a meeting with other chieftains of the party, including former PDP Board of Trustees Chairman, Chief Body Judge, the former governor of Plateau State, the governor told the media that why their demands are just fairness and equality remain truth they were ready to embrace peace in interest of all. This prompted Atiku to welcome their position, thus opening rooms for possible negotiation. It had, however, turned out that when the former vice president made move to see the governors return to the negotiation table, the G5 made it clear that they were not ready for deliberations with Atiku with Ayo as party chairman. We will discuss and we'll have everything we need to put in place, but Ayo must be out of the picture. This position Saturday Punch gathered has made further peace talk difficult, even as Atiku continued with his campaign, while the governors moved back on their moved back into their shell, confirming what appears like a breakdown in talks with the two camp. Timothy Deputy National Youth Leader of the party told this media that why Atiku never ran away from the opposition to address the issues rising, those in the other side, their things are usually different, he has said. And this is why we are worried that they are not ready to make any form of reconciliation. Although they said they are ready for reconciliation, we are practically very worried that this reconciliation is going nowhere with the way we can see things. The G5 has insist that Ayo must resign in order for any form of peace talk to be reached or discussed or any matter of such to come on board. So my wonderful people, this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And you can see for yourself that um, Atiku and Ayo, Wiki and the rest of them are still very much in that limbo of who goes, who stays and who should be listened to. The G5 have stated and have continued to make their position clear that they are not having any discussions with Ayo. Again, it's legit what they are discussing and what they are saying about it borders around their party, uh, their party uh, constitution, which says both president 
and you know chairman cannot be from the same region in this case both uh, presidential candidate and chairman of the NWC cannot be of the same position and so we is saying I don't have an issue Ayo should resign so that the southern and can take over that position but Ayo is saying I go nowhere mm, I will be there to the four years has expired see my tenure whatever time duration it is given has been expired then I will leave and the governors are saying the the presidential candidate of the party can actually prevail on Ayo to resign so that they can move on. However, the presidential candidate says Ayo goes nowhere. In fact, he says he needs the guy for his campaign. So when you look at it, nobody's ready to shift grants. Hence the continuous uh, stay in their discussion and the discussions have continued to fall, you know, fell helplessly because no one seem to be ready for any form of reconciliation they say they are ready for reconciliation but nobody's shifting grounds nobody's shifting grounds so on this on this regards on this light you can see that you know things are really not all all there is is not all it seems yeah, all it seems is not all there is and so it has become a a, a matter for real urgent you know call or things can really fall apart because people have decided not to pay attention, you know, to what needed to be cared for and what needed to be sorted out. If anything is going to change, you know, it's, it's really up to every single one of us to begin to, you know, analyze and look at this place and look at things more and ensure that at the end of the day, we make this difference. You see? So, my wonderful people... It's about time we begin to engage on meaningful conversation to bring about a change and sort Nigeria out of what is currently happening today. Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that um, we do not stay where we are uh, in this very same position, that we make the difference and we make the change and we rise up to what we need to do and ensure that at the end of the day, every single person you know, is doing what we should and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. Remember, it's up to you and I, okay, to ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible to bring Nigeria to a, bring, to, you know, to a meaningful position. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.